everyone. This is George Gross, and welcome back to another episode of Mindset Monday. Hey, everyone. It is uh, great to see you. I actually just recorded um, episode one of season three of Mindset Monday, and I like to kind of do these back to back. And uh, it, it just gets, you know, it's a good way to do them. And I post them, you know, obviously, Mindset Monday, you got to post them on a Monday, right? And so, uh, you yeah, know, that's a. I got used to the <laughs> downboard where that's at. And so, I know it's terrible. And so, uh, I actually, um, yeah, I was thinking about like, what are some of the topics that I want to talk about? I try to do two at a time. I have like a little um, notepad that I write the topic so I can kind of see how repetitive I am. I was going to do something on something I talked about in the first one, but I thought, you know, I'm going to try something uh, a little bit different. And I was just kind of thinking about like, why do I do this? Like, why do I do multiple episodes? um you know two at a time and why do i always like record this you're probably listening to this in september of 2022 and i committed that i would do another season at some point but i'm recording this in early july and one of the reasons that i um do this early is because it's something that really is helpful to me it helps me grow it helps me really kind of refine my thoughts but i utilize an accountability to others and uh, that whether it's true or not, I be, I try to make it in my head that people have an expectation that, um, you know, when I do my podcast, that there's, they're going to hear something on a Thursday. They're going to hear something on a uh, Sunday that when I do Mindset Monday, that there's going to be another season coming along. And so that accountability to others has really helped me grow. And I was kind of thinking about this. Because I remember I was having a conversation or I was talking recently, I saw a video and it really bothered me uh, because it actually was something that was happening to me as a TikTok video. And, you know, um, someone had reached out to me and said, hey, I'd love to, you know, pick your brain on some stuff. And I, I would like to, you know, to kind of show up and, uh, you know, come over and ask you some questions. I'm like, yeah, of course. So then I sent a message to say, hey, you know, I'm free tonight at X amount of, at X time. Uh, come on over and uh, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll be over there. So this is a person who asked me for help, by the way. And um, and then the time comes along, they don't show. And then they message me a couple hours later. And and then like, no, no, no. And they just never, they said, hey, I'll be late. Never showed up, never messaged, nothing. And I feel like sometimes the the, the video that really I saw on TikTok, again, can't find it which is kind of like something hits me about, you know, five days after I actually watch it, was just kind of the disregard that people have for other people's time and that it's kind of a sign of respect. And I think that to me, when people say, oh, I'm always late, that's garbage. It is garbage. It, because if I said to you, you know, and I, I think it was Eric Thomas had a video talking about this, that, hey, I have a million dollars for you, but what you got to do is I need to see you at 6 a.m. I bet you you wouldn't be late. If you're someone who's chronically late, but there's a million dollars waiting for you, but you had to be there by 6 a.m. tomorrow morning, you'd show up. And so it's not that people are chronically late, that they just don't value other people's time or certain people's time. And it, it tells me a lot about people when, you know, um, they show up and for people that they feel can do something for them, but not necessarily um, for others. And, and you don't have to like uh, be accountable to every person that you come across for, you know, for the rest of your lives. I, I understand that. Like we're, we're limiting our time, but if you make a commitment, um, if you say you're going to give people time or, you know, that, that accountability to others, you know, is something that's really important. And it says a lot about our character and who we are and to, uh, you know, uh, to say I've never been late and, and like, I've never taken for granted someone else's time, I'd be lying. I'd be the first one to admit that I've done that in the past, but I've really thought about this, that it's a, a little bit of a sign of disrespect that you'll show up on time for others, but not for a different person. And I've done that too. And I, I find that, you know, it doesn't matter who the person is. If you, if you commit to something, you're going to do that. And so I think that one of the things that's helped me kind of in this podcast blogging journey is people always ask me like, how do you stay so consistent? And part of it is that I commit to um, a blog post coming out every um, single Tuesday. And I've, I've done that for a while. And right now, even though it's July, I have all my blog posts completed for um, that month. 
And so it's not necessarily that I write every Tuesday, it's that I have something complete at that time. Because in my brain, again, whether it's true or not, I think that other people are expecting that to show up in their email inbox on Wednesday morning. I, I've done that with my Saturday emails. Now, if I sometimes I take a break from writing and sometimes I take that, but I clearly communicate that. Um, but it's more a break for myself at that time. I just need some space away. And I communicate it to the people that, you know, might read my stuff. But just kind of committing to like, hey, I'm going to do this every Tuesday. Uh, I'm going to actually, you know, show up. I'm going to do a podcast every Thursday. It's not that you do it every Thursday, that it's ready on that day for others. And so when you cre create that accountability to others, the weird thing is it actually makes you better. And when I was thinking about this too, another aspect of this, I used to teach spin. And the beautiful thing um, with spin is I actually um, was a teacher. And what was nice about that is that I would teach it, you know, every, I think Tuesday, Thursday at 6 a.m. I would teach it like, you know, Wednesday night. This is while I was a principal, by the way, and Monday and Wednesday night. And I would do it like Saturday morning and things like that. And I was never late. Um, I was never late for the class because I was teaching it. So other people were counting on me to show up. And even though I'm in pretty good shape right now, I was in really good shape then. then. And what kept me in shape was I never questioned, you know, like, eh, am I going to skip it today? Because I couldn't skip it. I was, I was the one, you know, doing the show. I was the one who was, you know, leading the class. And so, you know, kind of getting that out of your brain that it's, you know, like, should I do this or not? It's like, no, this is a commitment I've made has really helped me to would help me get into better shape. And I've done the same thing, you know, with my fitness journey too. I think what shifted for me, a lot of people, you know, like I've said this before, I, I, uh, I used to like struggle with weight and my goal was to look better, but then it was like, you know, um, I'm a dad and I have uh, wonderful kids. And if I don't take better care of my health, I, they, I might not be around for them and I need to be around for them. So I think what really shifted for me when I saw huge strides in my change was when it clicked to me that this is not just about me taking care of myself, it's me ensuring that I'm there for the people that need the most to me. And I think that sometimes when we create that accountability to others, whether it's the colleague across the hallway and saying like, hey, I got to, you know, make sure these kids are ready for that next teacher because we want them to be, well, not only the, t the kids, but, you know, my colleagues, um, there's something there too. A lot of times in leadership, in schools, people always, you know, oh, the principal, like, and it's like, well, no, like, you got to create accountability to the colleagues across from you. If we just depend on leadership out of our principals and no one else, we're in trouble. It's that accountability we create to others that makes us all better, including the people that do that as well. So I was just kind of thinking about that as I was like thinking about how I do this podcast, um, how I share this stuff that just putting my mind, whether it's true or not, that somebody else is counting on me showing up makes me better. And so hopefully you can think about how that, how you do that in your life. Like what are some of the ways that maybe you in your own life have done that in the past and how can you utilize that in certain aspects of where you're struggling in your work that maybe you want to start that blog, maybe you want to start that podcast. And that's the advice I always give is that, hey, you, you want to build an audience, commit to something being posted every Tuesday afternoon. And whether you get it to, done Tuesday morning or, you know, Wednesday night, the, the week prior, you'll, that commitment to somebody else is going to make a huge difference to you. And I think that's what makes us better. So I just want to share that. Again, thanks for joining me on My Tip Monday. The Light Harp. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks for all you do. Take care.